Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, and today we're taking a look at Balboa Island. When you first land on Balboa Island, you're looking for the area that has this broken down gate. And when you get here, I really recommend that you have your spear and possibly a bow, as well as plenty of food and water. But first things first is we're going to head up the mountain, and we're looking for signs that tell us where to go. All right, so here is the first sign and we're looking for the ranger station first. So we're gonna head off to the right from here. And on the island, there are bears out. So I recommend running around with your bow at first because you can get a couple shots in before they get up close. And your first bear should be right around here. All right, once you've taken care of the bear, you're gonna head on towards this camp right here. And our next sign tells us the ranger station is again to the right. So we're gonna head up the mountain. And we have a little obstacle course here. So we have to jump across these barrels and boxes. We do have to do this fairly quickly as the boxes will sink on you. So let's get started here. We're across that and we have two buildings that we need to check out in this area. The first one's to the right and this is the actual ranger station and we're heading inside here. And the first thing to notice here is there is a blueprint for the biofuel refiner. There are some other items in the cabin but they're just loose items that you don't really need to worry about. After we get done in there grabbing our blueprint we do want to head around back as there's some items we'll need later and they are from the berry bushes back here. There should be four berries that you can pick up in a relatively close area. Once you have your berries, we're gonna head back in front of the ranger station and we're gonna take a look at the second building, which is our first tower that we need to go up. And each of these towers does have a staircase that we need to climb. There should be no danger coming up here other than just falling off. And once you're up top, you really just need to head inside. You can look around, but the main thing that we're looking for is this box on the wall, which will allow us to turn on our first power station. And as you can see, we need all three relay stations activated. But let's head on to the next station now, and we're going to just basically head back downstairs or jump off however you want to do it but I would save your health as there are bears on the island. After this, we're just heading back the way we came, back down towards where that tent is, and we'll move on to the next step. Be careful when you get back down the mountain as the bears can respawn fairly quickly. They only take about three minutes to respawn. All right, so now we are going to be heading actually back the way we came. So not really following either of these directions, but heading back down this path. Once you get back to this sign right here, we're actually going to the next sign, which is where the bear sighting area is. From here, we do have two paths and we're gonna be going down the path on the right in just a minute, but first we need to head up top to grab one more berry. And I'll show you where that is as this is the easiest and closest place to get it uh, without having to backtrack too much. So you head all the way up top and you're looking for this rock here with the cliff wall and we're going to jump up top and jump up some more and here should be your last couple berries that you need and after this we're just going to head back down the mountain and go down the right path but there is something we need to pay attention to So the really important thing here is mama bear over in the background and we need to basically hug against this wall. If you get too close to mama bear, she'll aggro on you and you will basically be chased forever. 
There are two options to deal with mama bear. First is using the berries that we have, and I'm gonna show you that method in a second. You can fight mama bear. However, she takes about 70 hits or 75 hits with your spear to be able to take down. So I really recommend the first method that I'm gonna show you right now as that will allow you to save a lot of time unless you just want the challenge and possibly the achievement from fighting mama bear. So your goal is to get up to this basket without aggroing mama bear as if she's aggroed this basket won't work anymore and for this we need our five wild berries that we picked up and we can just fill them in the basket and mama bear will come get her a snack after this we want to head into the cave and in the cave we have something that we'll need for our third relay station and that is in this crate here we have to pick this up it does take a little bit of time so you really can't do this with mama bear chasing you and then the blueprint for the machete is here so when we pick this up we did get the blueprint for the machete as well as a machete from that crate this is something we're going to need a little later so we're going to go ahead and put this on our action bar it is a good weapon but make sure you don't break it until after you get through the third relay station as you will need it to progress any farther so next we're going to head back down the path we came up to mama bear from no danger at this point and our next step is going to be heading to the left And we're coming up to our next sign here and we're still heading for relay station number four. So head down this path. And there is relay station four up this path. So from here we have directions to our last two stations and we're going to radio station number four first. And here we are at the next station. So to get across the drawbridge here, you want to pick up a few of these stones on the ground here, just in case you miss a couple times. Throw them down on your action bar there. And your goal is to hit that lever. So left click and hold and aim a little high and you should be able to hit the lever and drop the drawbridge. All right, so head across the bridge and this is basically the same as station number two. We're just gonna head up top from here and use the stairs. All right, so into station number four and the blueprint for the fuel pipe is here on the board as well as a note. And here is our lever to use and that will activate the screen here that says we have two out of three relay stations done. So there are some other things to look around at and check out while you're here at the station, but we're just looking for the story progression. So we're gonna head on down to relay station number six, which is fairly close to us now and we're almost done. Once you get back across the drawbridge, you're just heading down the slope for that sign and we'll head on to station six. So from here, we're heading on to relay station six and that is just down this path. It is a little bit windy, but we'll get there in just a second. Heading off to the left from here. And this is the entrance into station six. This is where we need our machete. So we'll go ahead and put that back on the bar and start chopping through them. And 
And here we are at Station 6. One more tower to climb, and we will be pretty much done with Balboa Island. Alright, here is Station 6, and we're going to head inside and take a look around. And first thing first, on the left is the blueprint for the fuel tank. Johnny is here if you want to pick up another character to use. And we're looking for this box in the back to turn on and we have now powered up all three of the relay stations and this is your new coordinates for the next story island which is caravan island don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content and a huge shout out to our patreon members that support the work we do thank you from all of us here at nocturne gaming if you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits check out the link in the description if you have any thoughts comments or questions please leave them down below for me and we'll see you next time.